They soon found a spokesman in a young man from the cold country of western Kentucky named Merle Travis. Come and listen, you fellas, so young and so fine, and seek not your fortune in the dark, dreary mine, where the demons of death often come by surprise. One fall of the slate, and you're buried alive, where it's dark as a dungeon. Merle was a tremendous songwriter, uh, 16 times. It's dark as a dungeon way down in the mines. I mean, he knew what mining life was like. He drew on his own experience growing up in Kentucky coal mining country. And those songs are about doing an extremely dangerous job, and they were at the complete mercy of, of the, the powerful companies that own these mines. Travis also became one of the most influential guitar players of his generation, popularizing a distinctive style of finger picking that soon became known as Travis picking. Merle Travis was probably the first guy to really take a guitar style uh, this where you could actually accompany yourself. You didn't have to have other musicians, you know, around you. I mean, that's music right there. That's you know, you don't need a drummer. You got your uh, you got your rhythm with your thumb. Then you got the, your lead. And uh, Merle was. He took that to the public. He took that not only on record, but he took it uh, to people on television. Travis himself was typical of many of the young musicians after the war. Restlessly traveling from his home base in Kentucky, spreading his music to California, where his coal mining song, 16 Tons, became one of the best sellers of the Eisenhower era. <laughs> 